my air signs Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. So today we're going to take a look at and see what the cards are predicting for you in terms of love and romance for the month ahead. We'll go ahead and see if there's anyone new coming in or any returning energies coming back um, into the picture or just anything that the cards feel like you should know for the new month. This is going to be a general reading guys so please keep that in mind. There's also going to be part two, an extension available to this reading and that's going to be listed just uh, via the video below just where the show more section is. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video just in that same uh, section as well. Otherwise guys let's give the cards a shuffle and let's see what's coming in for you. Okay the star card. Okay, bottom of the deck you have the Queen of Wands and I feel like some of you have been putting in some work lately so good on you. Some of you have, you know, you've really been doing some inner work, some maybe some shadow work, some uh, healing here, um, building, you know, a better relationship with yourself here, forgiving yourself as well. Okay, I feel like some of you have been doing the work and it's showing here, it's definitely showing up in your cards and I feel like it's also showing up like evidence of this is showing up in your in your life okay um, all around you um, it feels like it's this you're coming into alignment with yourself with your higher self and your soul's purpose and it feels like honestly it feels like this month you've got the Midas touch everything that you turn is turning to gold here it feels like you're in the right place at the right time um, it just feels like everything here is coming Everything is falling into place here. Now for some of you, I feel like you've been holding on to a sense of hope. And it's the one thing that you've really been holding on to. And it's the, the one thing that can really help us get through some of these darkest nights. Okay, so hope is, hope, even when you lose everything, hope is the last thing to go. It's the last thing to be lost, right? Um, and I feel like it's this hope that you've been carrying that I feel like has allowed you to, you know, step into this Queen of Wands energy, where you're feeling so much more confident within yourself, okay, you're gaining back your self-confidence, that's returning back to you this month, you're so much more sure of yourself and where it is that you want to go here, um, and your path, I feel like hope has definitely carried you through here so if you have been going through some dark nights and some sort of turbulence here here some tough times i feel like it, it you know you've been holding on to a hope that are better things that there are better things still ahead and better things still to come and there is let me tell you i feel like the best is still to come here it's what it feels like um And your life is getting better. I feel like that little hope that you've been holding on to, it, it's going to pay off because I feel like life is getting better for you here. You've been, you've definitely been working on yourself here. And, you know, I feel like you're putting on yourself, you're putting yourself onto the right path here. Some of you in the past have got involved with the wrong person here, but I feel like the wrong person is leading you to the right person okay and some of you and you may feel like some of you have made some wrong turns but it's the wrong turns that have put you onto the right path so i feel like you're exactly where you need to be to get to where it is that you need to go and this month here i feel like there are truly going to be some magical moments okay um there's a sense of alchemy here that i'm picking up in your spread i feel like 
paths of your destiny are going to be realized and fulfilled this month whether it's with you and a, a you know in a, a romantic energy here or whether it's you realizing your destiny and fulfilling your destiny with someone here i feel like there are going to be some truly magical wonderful amazing moments that you're going to be creating and sharing this month here I'm also seeing that you're doing so much healing as well. I feel like you're going to be healing past emotional wounds, healing insecurities here, healing past pain or past hurt or trauma and resentment here. You're letting go, okay? And that's all part of that relationship, that better and healthier relationship that you've been fostering here with yourself, okay? You've been putting in the work and it's been paying off. And even if some days you didn't quite want to or you didn't have the energy for it, you know, you still did it. And I can see that you have been spending more time on your own. Some of um, some of you have intentionally remained single here because you wanted to give yourself that time, the energy that you deserve, and you've been neglecting to do so in the past. So all of that is helping you build a better relationship with yourself. And at the end of the day, we're all mass energy. And when, you know, when you start loving yourself and really respecting yourself and giving yourself the time, the energy, the love that you deserve, you're going to put out vibrational frequency, okay? And you're going to attract a partner who's going to respond to that vibrational frequency of yours and is going to want to do the same for you, who's going to parallel and match and reciprocate your efforts. Now, the same thing works in reverse here. If you don't give yourself the time and the attention that you need, and if you continually look to someone else to validate yourself or your happiness or your self-worth, unfortunately you're going to put out the vibrational frequency and you're going to attract a partner who's going to do the same for you okay um so someone who won't be able to validate you or validate your self-worth because you can't do it yourself here so it all starts with you and i think a lot of you from what i can see i feel like you have been putting in the inner work you have been doing the inner healing you have been sitting with yourself you're also for some of you, I think this month, you're also going to be confronting, I think you're going to really start paying close attention to that inner dialogue that you have with yourself. And I feel like you're either going to be confronting a certain individual who has been telling you lies or who has been, you know, a little deceitful or dishonest with you, or perhaps this is you, you're becoming a lot more honest with yourself, okay? Because the hardest person to be truthful and honest with is ourselves because we like to sugarcoat things and you know we like to let ourselves down easy but here you are i feel like a lot of you are finally admitting to yourself a truth or admitting to yourself that you have been deceitful about maybe a person a particular person or a particular situation in the past maybe you've been telling yourself you know the lie that you wanted to hear rather than the truth that you deserve to know. But I feel like you're confronting some of that this month, okay? And I feel like that's all a part of your journey as well. Your love life here is taking a, a step forward. In fact, you're moving forward in leaps and bounds with regards to your love life and your relationship. There's momentum here, okay? You're going to be attracting here. You're going to be extremely attractive, okay? Moth to a flame kind of energy. Um, a lot more than usual. And I feel like it has to do with your air of confidence, you know, that confidence returning back to you, that inner work that you've been doing on yourself. All of that is paying off. People are starting to notice, okay? You're feeling good. You're looking good. You're putting that great energy out there. And people are starting to respond. In fact, so much so that you're going to have to... Well, you're going to have to pick and choose some of these romantic suitors because I feel like there'll be more than just one or two of them. In fact, you'll have um, people competing for you, for your love and for your attention. Okay, and you're going to have to you're going to have to do the hard job of deciding, you know, which one is it that you want to pursue romantically, or which one is it that you're going to give the time of day. Um, and it's all because of you know you feeling so much more sure of yourself. You're finally allowing your light. To shine okay and, and you're a bright spark here you're a bright light here don't let anyone ever dim your light don't let anyone ever you know um uh dim your light like allow then allow that to take that away from you here okay because finally people are you know it, it's like i don't know whatever it is that you've been going through but i feel like it's like in the past maybe you gave too much of yourself away to someone 
so much so that in the sense it, it, it's kind of you were kind of maybe experiencing an identity crisis or you were kind of forgot who you are because you gave so much of yourself in individually in sorry individuality away and here you are you're reclaiming back your power okay that confidence is returning back to you and boy is it showing so things are starting to take um there's a lot of forward momentum a lot of movement and a lot of progression and that begins with you so things are accelerating and they're picking up um, you are going to be attracting suitors like insects to a flame kind of energy people are really going to start noticing they're going to want to they're going to want a piece of you they're going to want to pursue you they're going to want to get close to you um, be selective you should always be selective about the you know about um, the people that you want to spend your time and your energy with because that stuff's valuable, right? You, you know, it, it, unlike currency, you can't get it back, okay? Time cannot be, um, you cannot get time back. So do be selective because there'll be there'll be some really good eggs and there'll be some not so good eggs amongst them. Um, so make sure you, you know, you don't want past history to repeat itself. Make sure you choose what's best for you. Prioritize your happiness. Um, I'm also seeing that there is something here you're going to be working on this month and it feels like you're overcoming some sort of fear. It could be a fear or anxiety. You could be you you're learning to conquer it. I feel like you're going to it's something that I feel like it's been building up inside of you, okay? And it's been a little bit uncomfortable, but it's coming to the point where you can no longer ignore it. And here you are, you're finally confronting it this month. So in part two of the reading, we're going to find out exactly what is it that you're conquering here, what fear, anxiety, and security you're overcoming. We're also going to um, explore the, this um, romantic shift that's coming in for you, okay? Things suddenly picking up, gaining momentum, gaining traction, um... And these romantic suitors that are vying for your attention. And we'll see who amongst them maybe you know. Or are they, these are all new energies here. And also what is what is the truth here that's coming in for you? Or what is the, the, the cards, what else do the cards want you to know? So follow me to the extension reading below. Which is going to be listed just below the video. Otherwise guys I want to thank you so much for your time, your energy and your attention. Bye for now.